So the worst case scenario you hear, which is Skynet, it's yeah. basically every science fiction movie, whether it's Ex Machina or iRobot, you know, with Bicky taking over and so on. Sorry if you haven't seen the movie, that was a spoiler alert. <laughs> um, <laughs> that AI always becomes bad, right? And in all of those examples, the AI develops a consciousness, the AI sets its own goals, and the AI dis uh, distances itself from its training. So its training has it do something, and like in iRobot, it's to protect human life, it's Asimov's three laws, which is a whole different discussion. Those aren't, you know, th those have their weaknesses. But it determined that, well, to actually carry out the first law to protect humans, I have to enslave and kill a few humans along the way. Well, that is a departure from its training data. Well, that's not going to happen. The idea that you have a free will and can morally choose is unique to humanity. So that isn't going to happen. The Skynet scenario, read our book, Soulless Intelligence. It goes into all the reasons scientifically, philosophically, maybe not all the reasons, but a lot of them, uh, uh, theologically, why that's just not what's going to happen on the AI side. The other extreme I've heard from people is, Okay, so we've got a $65 trillion debt if you include unfunded liabilities like Social Security and so on. And we can't make the interest payments and the interest is going up right now. It's, it's ridiculously high. And you know, they're getting rid of the, the dollar in other countries as far as the exchange currency and blah, 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 blah. However, the rose-colored glasses side says AI will make us so much more efficient, will grow so fast that we'll make up for that. And then we'll pay down be able to pay off the debt and balance it out and so on. I don't think that's true because of what we just said. The majority of people are not embracing AI because their head's buried in the sand, because they're not willing to accept that AI can write better than me or be a lawyer better than me or be an accountant better than me or be a marketer, like whatever, go down the list of knowledge work. Uh, and so they're just not embracing it. They're actively arguing against why it won't happen instead of going out and just doing it. And so I don't see that society-wide we're going to have that mass increase in efficiency. You're probably still going to have a few percent GDP growth. And some of that's going to be mass layoffs in certain areas. And will they get hired back in other areas? Maybe if they adapt. I mean, if, if they don't, then they don't. I mean, it's, it took generations for us to go from agrarian society to industrial. It wasn't like everybody just left the farm one year and the next year they're all in factories. Like that took a while. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't think either scenario is realistic. I don't think it's going to be super simple and everybody's going to be happy and we're all just going to get our, you know, what is it, minimum basic income, whatever the basic income term that they're using right now is, and everybody just gets their check from the government and you can go paint all day or write poems or go for walks and you're just going to be happy and fulfilled in life. That scenario seems highly unlikely to me, but so does the, I mean, the other one I guarantee is not going to happen, which is the Skynet one. The only way the Skynet works is if there's an evil genius or evil non-genius, just evil <laughs> controlling it and making it do whatever it wants to. <laughs> but even that seems really unlikely. Like it's pretty consp conspiratorial if you think that's a possibility. <laughs> It's a really good fiction story, but yeah. Exactly. So where are we in the middle? Who knows? But it's definitely not on either extreme. Greg, you can say something now. Nope. I got nothing there. Maybe you should regroup Greg. All right. Maybe I'll next time this. we can just discuss the transhumanists and why they're crazy. Because that's the other utopian version that Rob soon you'll be enhanced both genetically through eugenics, or at least your offspring will be, and through my, a machine interface that you'll essentially become a cyborg and enter into a higher level of consciousness. And then you'll be perfect and you'll never have disease and you'll live forever. Huh. I'm out. So that's that's a discussion for another time. It's on the list. <laughs> <laughs>